Hi Tyler. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Gang cute naman ni Tyler dito. Thank you so much. Salamat po. <laughs> you know, you registered well earlier during the press presentation. How was it like walking for the first time? Yeah. On, on the ramp? Yeah, so it is my first pageant. It is my first time walking. So, you know, a little nerve-wracking, but I could feel the support and love from my family who were in the front row, as well as all my followers on Instagram. So thank you guys so much. Ooh, your social media savvy. Yes, so I do have social media. I have around, you know, 22,000 followers on my Instagram. So thank you guys so much. If you do know me, please support me. It truly means a lot to me. So, you also have Italian blood. I do have Italian blood, which is on my dad's side. So, how did you end up representing USA? Why not your mom's side? <laughs> so, my mom, is, like I said, is from Quezon City. My dad is Italian. However, I was born in the USA. So, what I would really like to do is spread my Filipino blood, my Filipino heritage to the people in the USA. That's great. So... What is someone like you from the USA doing in a pageant like MPW? So someone like me from the USA, my mom was born in Quezon City. She actually left in 1981. And all my life, she has been trying to speak Tagalog to me, making me Filipino food such as adobo, such as pancit. So I fell in love with the food. So I want to embrace that culture. So I came here to the Philippines to fully embrace my heritage, to show the culture to the world that the Philippines is such a beautiful place. How long have you been staying here? I, this time, I've only been here for two weeks, but it is my fourth time here back into the Philippines. What is it? So, do you have any plans of staying longer this time around here in Manila? Yes, sir. So, I actually plan to stay at least for six months. I came back here to try out the modeling and acting scene, and I got invited by Empire to join into Mr. Pilipinas. So, prior to this, I have no uh, experience about pageants. No experience about pageants, but I'm fully embracing it. I've looked up YouTube videos. I've asked certain people, such as stylists, to kind of give me the advice that I really need so that way I could fulfill that success within the pageantry. How have you been coping up so far? So far, so good. As I said, I'm a little nervous like the day or the night before, but with uh, my support system, I reach out to people, trying to get the advice that I need, and it truly helps me so much. From all the advice that you've been getting, what's one of one advice that you are taking to heart seriously? Is to be myself, okay? When you're not yourself, it feels forced, it feels scripted. So that is what is true to me, and that's what's true to everyone that I relate to. Yeah, so... How important is it to be authentic in a pageant like this? Because it feels like you have a fun and outgoing personality. Yeah, so it's, it, you have to be authentic. If you want to go anywhere, whether it's pageantry, whether it's modeling, whether it's acting, or just a job, corporate job, you have to be authentic to yourself. You have to ask yourself, is this truly what you want? And if the answer is yes, then fulfill those dreams and become the most successful person that you can be. What do you do for fun? I go to the gym every day. <laughs> like every day? Every day, Daba. You have a trainer or do you work out alone? All by myself. Wow. How did you develop your love for, for fitness? So three years ago, I went to the gym with my friend in, back in Cleveland, Ohio. If anyone knows LeBron James, he used to play for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So that is where I'm from. And I never thought that I would go every day. But for some reason, seeing my physique turn into something spectacular, getting the compliments from all the people, it made me truly embrace that lifestyle as an individual. So apart from the gym, what else? What is one interesting fact about you that you would like people to know about or is there anything any fun stuff any fun stuff that you also do outside your pageant persona right now so as much as it may seem ridiculous but i love to eat tacos i go to only pants and poblacion to eat their tacos i go to el chapo in quezon city to eat the tacos i also promote my fitness lifestyle so that way after i eat the tacos i'm right back in the gym oh because tacos can be can be quite salty and salt too much salt is bad for your body right well not only that but it has tortillas right so yeah. it has the carbs and i usually don't eat carbs but when it comes to tacos it's like my it's like my favorite food mm -hmm. 
So what the so with with uh, with few more questions. Step. What do you hope to achieve with your candidacy here in Mr. Supranational? Oh, Mr. Filipinos Worldwide. What I hope to achieve is to shed light on the Filipino culture and the heritage that I am fully embracing. I want to show the USA that the Philippines is a wonderful country. When most people think of East Asia, they think of Japan, they think of China. I want them to think of the Philippines. How can you do that? Yeah, I agree with you. Because when you talk about Asia, it's always Japan, their culture, even Thailand, because of how gastronomic their dishes are, India, yeah, but never the Philippines. Well, what it usually is, is I feel like they're just not that much educated. And with the platform that I am given, especially this unique platform of Mr. Filipinas, I want to shed light on how great the people are, how delicious the food is, how amazing this culture is as a whole country. So that way, when they do think of Asia, they put Philippines on that list. What is one Filipino food you would like to recommend to your followers and to any foreigner out there who may be coming across with who may be coming who may be coming in contact with you in the near future? So one Filipino food that I fell in love with ever since I was young because my mom is Filipina is Eriscaldo. If it's made right, it is so delicious, especially with garlic, especially with the scallions. It is the most delicious Filipino food dish that you could try. It's one of my comfort foods. It is a comfort Especially on a rainy day. Right, or adobo. Adobo is just as good. Yeah, so, eh paano yan? Hindi ka makakain na masyadong arroz caldo at uh, adobo ngayon because you're competing here. You have to watch your calorie intake. Exactly, so it's just gonna be adobo and lechon. <laughs> <laughs> lechon! <laughs> yeah, lechon kowali is also a favorite of mine. So... There you go. You really have so much. You really have so much fun in you, and I can't wait to for you to unleash that. So, on that note, thank you, thank you so so much again for allowing me to ambush and interview you. God bless you, and go slay it in the next two weeks. Thank you so much for interviewing me, guys. If you haven't already, please follow me on my socials. It is Ty Gomer T Y G A U M E R, and I promise it will change your life as I promote fitness, a healthy lifestyle, and much love. Pwede ka talaga mag-artista at host someday if being in pageants won't work out for you. Yeah, you have a career. I can feel something from you. So, there you go. Maraming salamat. Keep in touch and good luck. Bye! Bye, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe, okay?